murderous theorizing case file. The Peruvian Predators. Mm. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. Um, before we start, I am on a level of sleep. Uh, <laughs> previously reserved only for Dale Gribble. Uh, the CIA, I can hear the CIA on my phone calls now. I know they're listening. I can hear Everyone's them. after you. I'm here to click. Yeah, didn't he just it. fucking, didn't he just die? Yeah, he did. Rest, Rest in peace. peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. Timely. The, uh, Very timely play, reference. Uh, Dale Gribble. Passed, last week, passed away. Well, the voice so you, guys are, yeah. you guys are conducting right. your own Russian sleep experiment at home there? Is that what's happening? Or Yeah, it's a, that is what happened. Uh, okay. We're the little guy, uh, we're sleep training him. It was the first night the other night. And uh, he murdered you? Me, no, he he actually slept fine. But what happened is his first day in his crib, immediately rolled over to his tummy, and we're we're both like, "All right, well, everything we read said like no tummy." So like I go in, you know, carefully like flip him back on his back, lay him on his back. The second I turn around, he just like it was like there was a magnet, and it's just like whoop flips over onto his belly, still asleep. And I'm like, "All right." So then like all night we were like flipping him over, and then today we got the okay. They're like. The doctor's like, can he roll over both ways? I'm like, yeah, he's like, he's fine to sleep however he wants then. I'm like, oh, okay. So I was up all night because I was like, oh, God, he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> just watching the baby monitor all night. Oh, my God. Going in there, rolling him over. And I was like, by like four in the morning, I was like, he was like on his back for like a 30-minute stretch. And I was like, stay like, just stay like that. Buddy, stay by like 4 a.m., how are you not Ivan Draco? Like, if he dies, he <laughs> dies. I got to go to bed. Fuck it. Because, dude, ever, as I was getting sleepy, I, I'd be getting sleepy, and I'm like, okay. I was on the couch, and I'm starting to get shut-eye. And then, like, my inner voice is like, yeah, you do need to sleep. You should get three hours of sleep now. Wake up. Your son's going to be dead because you needed three hours of sleep. You too many. You can't sleep later. And I was like, oh, God. I can't stay up. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, no one bullies me like my own inner voice, just so everyone knows. Well, other than your dad, but that's a yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah. Um, but this is if you've been following the news oh, and, and, and Twitter or X, what is it called? X is, is X. it just called X now? Hasn't sw- hasn't switched in Canada yet. It's still called Twitter on the Mine's app. Yeah, but the logo oh, is, is an X now. It is. Yeah, that must have just that must have happened X. while I'm awake because last night I checked. Yeah, it was it's, still it's been like that for a while. I was I was taking it back one day when I was looking for Twitter and. I gotta check um, the time here because no, I was clicking I was, on fucking off, Pornhub off, or crazy? something like that by accident. Yeah, seems like I'm doing something scandalous every time I click on it. Yeah, that's part that's of the a, that's the marketing, marketing tactic. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, yes. yeah. it's great. Uh, but if you've been uh, if you've been following that kind of stuff, uh, you've definitely seen probably hashtag Peru trending uh, the last couple of weeks. Uh, Peru aliens, um, and that's because there's been just <clears> a stream <throat> of reports and videos and stuff that uh there is predator some sort of... has returned yeah predators refer well return. it has it has been the in hottest numbers. it has been the hottest recorded days on earth like so far so i mean that's usually yeah. when predator shows up in the movies uh, <laughs> and uh it's it's is it yeah there's one of things like yeah when it's like record when the there's areas has experienced like record high temperatures this is when he shows up Dan sounds very crunchy. Yeah, Dan, you sound crackly. You, you oh, sound weird. crunchy, buddy. Mm. Yeah, do a little jiggle. Are you? Are you? Check, check, it check. sounds like it sounds like you're holding your notes in rage every time you talk. I'm <laughs> 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 mm, still crackly. Hmm. What's going on here? Unplug and replug something. Yeah, yeah, sort that out. What the fuck? Um, it's the heat. It's the predator. Check, Isn't check, that check. the sound the predator makes? Like, yeah, the clicking. It's, 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 it's coming after Dan. Dan. So it's yeah, it's coming after Dan. It still it so, still sounds clicky, but it might just it might not be a recording. It might just be reverse side. It might be the thing that's touching it. Ah, fucking USB C cables are all. Jangled. Oh, that sounds better. Well, yeah, that already sounds better. Hey, whatever, whatever you did, check, check, check. Oh, uh, whatever you did, stop moving. A little crackle back check. there. No, my it's much it's better. Like, it's it's better. It's like this USB C cable, like charging cable, keeps touching the fucking thing. And I think that's fucking unbelievable. Bad. <clears throat> okay there we go um yeah so if you've been following this you've you've seen uh the reports there's been videos um you know and the, the one that caught my attention is why kind of we moved it up the list um it was like evidence of fucking 
What is pe- Pelicaras? What is it? Is that what, how I say it now? How do you say it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that is basically translates to uh, the face peelers. And there was a video circling Twitter. And if you go looking for this, um, hashtag fucking not safe for work and hashtag <laughs> you've been warned. Uh, mm. there, it's like them dragging a corpse out of like a forest area that looks that it's been peeled. It's been peeled. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, been it's been missing flesh perfectly from like neck all the way up the forehead. Just It's just a skeleton. And then, like, skin hanging off the backside. Well, isn't there, like, there's musculature and shit still, right? Not on the bones. There's nothing. It's just bones. It's, it's literally like a skull. The first so the, time so I saw it, So more than the like, skin's been peeled off. All the muscles have been peeled off, too? Everything. It's just bones. Just bones. It's just bones. Oh, so it's just a skeleton. No. The skin is only peeled, to, like, around the face. Oh. And then down to the neck, to the chest. And you can see the spine. I've, segway? I've seen that. This guy I've fucking seen it. no, I seen it. I, this guy got fucking he lo- got locked in his trailer with his dog and he passed away. And his dog, mm-hmm. they think, was trying his to face. wake him up, so it licked his face licked compulsively, right cleaned the fucking skin right off his face. Oh. It was fucking oh gnarly. God. So what you're saying is this is what potentially the face peelers are doing? Maybe, yeah. Oh, just could you imagine? This is, a, this is alive. An ag- this is an aggressive Antonio Villaboras. A little too <laughs> aggressive. Death by snooze snooze is what you're saying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's like the first time I saw it, I was like, that's gotta be fake. And then I saw a better quality version. And I was just like, I, I, I hate like when, you know, you know, you see gore or breaking videos or any of this stuff, not a fan, hate that stuff. And then I was like, Oh my God, that's real. I was like, Oh, and I was like, terrified. Whoa, I, wanna, I gotta see this. I want to see it. Where is it? And you had to look into oh. it farther though. I'd imagine. Yeah. Well, cause we were already talking that we're going to do it. So I was like, okay, there's some in Peru peeling faces. Um, so let's get in. Where did this start? Uh, Maybe apparently it couple... changes to the Peruvian face liquor. Oh, yeah. the, or the oh. Peruvian face peelers. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. Like yeah. Both of them okay. The face <laughs> peelers is a great band name. Add, add it to the list. Yeah. yeah. Put that on there. Yeah. Yeah. Copyright. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> um, yeah, apparently a couple of weeks ago, uh, an indigenous tribe of people known as the Akitu that reside in the district of Alto Nane, which is a province of Manus Loreto, Peru, uh, had some reports flying in that they a group like a number of them had sighted and even been attacked by f- as they describe it flying armored silver beans with huge heads I love it. it's like do you, do you have any proof of this the guy turns around he's got no fucking face left he's, he's like, like ah! what more do you need <laughs> yeah like what? skeleton head. <laughs> just bones are rattling um it, there's a video like there's the videos you can go and if you type in twitter peru aliens and stuff you can see videos of people seeing things they you know they it's the classic like so it's all low light because it's all at night um and these things are coming into the woods grabbing people attacking people they're shooting at them um just terrifying terrifying these uh poor villagers so they're wearing a silver suit of armor that's what it sounds like S- some reports i saw that they, people were saying like a spacesuit, like like a uh, some they, reports that they I say read was uh, armored or silver so that I makes mean, me this uh, makes me think of, heard, think of like uh, night armor i've heard that this suit looked like it was manufactured at oscorp yeah. Yeah. like yeah. a green yeah. goblin reference yeah. several times yeah. yeah well that's what a lot of the references say the face appeared like a silver like green goblin the uh the, the villagers are definitely familiar with the work of uh of <laughs> sam raimi and <laughs> the green goblin suit uh because it is yeah that that is the comparison that they make a couple of times uh of the these creatures resembling like the armored green goblin suit from those spider-man movies and see one of the reports that i was reading and one of like the news reports was saying uh like silver they looked like this silver uh like s- almost like an astronaut co- like outfit or something but i think it's turned to armored later because a lot of these people say that they they've been shooting at these things they shoot in them and they appear to be bulletproof so that's why they're like well this must be some sort of fucking armor because we're shooting these things it's terrifying yeah, uh, like there were reports that, that that they were chasing, like some of these creatures have been pursued by uh, some of the villagers who had been, uh, you know, kind of going out basically in posses. This is like Chupacabra style stuff where you have villagers that are 
feeling threatened. So they're out there in groups uh, trying to find these things, capture and or kill them uh, and keep them away uh, well, from, I, their, I, from their but, where they live. But, but I think that stems to, when I also think that stems because one of the first incidents is like a girl that got sl- like slash or cut. Right. And so it's like, you know, you have a, like a young woman out in the woods, like you, you, you ran up the name, like at first you'd be like, there's some fucking predator stalking at night. Like we got to, you know, get the torches out. We got to walk, march the village, wash the streets, make sure it's safe. Yeah, and then you're you're like, Holy Jack fuck, it's a green goblin. <laughs> well, could you imagine you're shooting this thing and it pops up out of nowhere and it's fucking Norman's not here, honey. Fucking yeah. <laughs> bullets Norman's on honey. sabbatical, honey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More like Norman no está aquí, baby. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> wasn't one guy saying like he sh- he shot him twice and he does not fall, but rises yeah. and disappears. So yeah. yeah, that that's one of the quotes that they have from the uh, the kind of the designated village leader known as Jairo Reatigui Avila. That yeah, so he he kind of came out. Most of the descriptions are pulled from his quote that he, um, I guess they had they at least had some film crew on there from one of the local uh, news programs and kind of quoted as this is a translation um, that the translation that you've seen in most of the articles that have been presented about this. And these gentlemen are aliens. They look armored like the Green Goblin from Spider Man. I have shot him twice and he doesn't fall (laughs) but rises and disappears. We are frightened by what is happening in the community. And then he continues, their color is silver, their shoes are round in shape, and with that, they rise. They float a meter high and have a red light on the heel part. Uh, his head is they long. You got fucking light-up sketchers? <laughs> it sounds like it. It's yeah. a good shoe. LA, LA lights, like, bringing them back. Um, his head is long, uh, his mask is long, and his eyes are half yellowish. Uh, with that, they see you well and leave, so I assume he, he kind of they have some type of, like, night vision or... Well, like that. they do explain too, like they glide, right? Like they hover, kind of like they're on mm-hmm. the goblin glider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and then the 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 interesting thing, I guess you could assume they see at night because if you're walking around with flashlights and these things are have attacked people, and then you don't see them, and then like you shine your light, you see them, you would assume that like, well, obviously they see us. <laughs> so, like some sort of night vision, whether it be the, just the mask or in the in the helmet. Something, something to do with the lens of the helmet for sure. Maybe. Or if that's just their fucking metallic head, who knows? Or that's just how they see. Yeah. Maybe. They just see, they've seen the different spectrum. Yeah. Predator style, just fucking thermal. <laughs> so how, uh, how, how big do they say these things were? Seven to eight feet tall. Jeez. 78 Jesus. feet tall? That's a big oh fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stomping out fucking forests in the Peruvian forest. Uh, no, seven or eight feet tall. Uh, so a know, giant. And, and I, I, I'll, I will say this. I'm always going to go with the lower number because I think in these heightened things, you know, someone's seven feet tall. and That's you're still a giant. Set. That's fucking huge. Anytime I'm running on Twitter, I'm like, that's, yeah. yeah. That's a if I was one. walking around in the woods and then some sort of fucking green goblin that was seven feet tall uh, attacked me, you know how tall I'd say it was? Nine feet. Easy. Easily. Probably 10. Probably 10. Right? Because you're just like, it was way bigger than me. How do you 10? Like you're in the moment, I'm sure. So I bet, is it closer to seven? Probably is my guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so pretty much after this, th- they had reported that these attacks had started, or the harassment at least, um, had started like uh, midway July, about July 11th. They said that these attacks had been going and they didn't really Around get the same time they were until... digging up like an old native burial ground or something yeah, like yeah. that. Was that... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unearthing some ancient emperor's t- tomb. Yeah, right after there was a meteor strike at an ancient temple. And, yeah. Peru, what is that? Is that Inca? Inca yeah. or yeah. The, whoever whoever predated them people of the gods um so like like brayden had mentioned before like one of the more alarming events is that a 15 year old girl uh was either like uh, had been grabbed by these creatures or um fucking peeled kind of (laughs) almost i guess suppose um because they said that she was grabbed by one of these and like they have her on camera like they're just kind of holding like she had a type of like a wound on her neck or something where she had been cut or or slashed Um, yeah they started the peel 
It's hard to feel. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got to, Hey, sorry. We got to, I think just cause like I'm thinking it's a good name, but also it's a little bit more seductive too, to get more clicks. We should name this the proving peelers. Really oh, yeah, yeah. Talking about like yeah, peelers? proving peelers. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I like that. Cause like, yeah. peelers mean one thing and another thing. Yeah. I, right? I tried right. to yeah, look up, I tried out. to look up yeah, like the actual Pelicaris, like people were talking about like what that is. And I couldn't really find There's not like, a specific, on it. And, like, I, I don't know. I'm not sure where they kind of pulled that from. I, like I well, really I read tried it was to like look, a, but I, was like, I, I read it was like some sort of folklore based on. Like, no, I, yeah, I looked. Uh, yeah, I read that, and I I went and looked, and I couldn't I couldn't find anything like that resembled that. I couldn't I couldn't find anything that resembled that in what's the kind thing of called Peruvian it? Folklore. The Pelicaris, the Pelicara, which is which is literally Pelicaris. like face peeler. Like Cara is face, and Pela is like to peel whatever. Well, awesome, like, it's, well, maybe it's maybe it's a real local thing that started last month. <laughs> yeah i mean it could be it, it's it new, could be some extremely local yeah extremely local and recent l- urban legend or something it could be something like that i'm sure um but i couldn't i couldn't find any uh popular reference to the pelicaras uh, of, of what the, what exactly that is um uh some of the articles uh mentioned them be, to be some kind of strange being that feast on human fat and organs but that could be clickbait so i'm not and sure. skin <laughs> yeah and face um, skin the best the best tasting skin the best, I uh, the best uh, yeah, best of the skins is around the face and neck i believe actually yeah yeah skin wise because that's the skin you take the most care of probably oh yeah you lube up all those ointments <laughs> yeah. and treatments yeah. you find on late night tv yeah. Oh, so it's going. It, it, listen, it's going after all the people who don't shower because, according to celebrities, you're not supposed to shower anymore. It's good for your skin. Is that the newest trend? That's the new thing. You're not supposed to shower. No water. No more showering. No, just no, no showering. showering. Nothing. No washing your face. No stank. showering. No. Just stank. Just stink. Yeah, it's supposed to stink. Natural. Hmm. Well, welcome to the trend, celebrities. A little late. <laughs> uh, so. Eventually, apparently, the, the authorities got involved. That these uh, yeah, that the villagers were so con- oh, Dan, Dan, hold on a second. Pause. <laughs> we're gonna take a quick beer break because Dan is gonna get his face Peruvian peeled by Zell if uh, we don't get this crackling sorted out. So uh, I've, I've started to ignore it, but we should try and fix it. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna take a sure. we're gonna take an early beer break. We'll be right back uh, as we can sort this out.
Uh, Dan's got himself sorted out. So we're talking about uh, the Peruvian peelers. Uh, they're they're there. They're ta- they're peeling faces in in Peru. Um, <clears throat> is that video directly related to this story? Like, is that really part of the story, or is it just somebody picked up that video and just like somebody slapped peeled, it on Dan? there? They got peeled. Well, peeled right so to the bottom. Plenty of people get their faces peels. peeled all the time. That lady no, no, could, that is... got in a fight with a chimpanzee got her face peeled. Like, dude, <laughs> I've never seen. Listen. The only time I've ever seen a face a that peeled, a face peeled that clean, was when we were doing the cattle mutilation and we saw the all the fucking. We were looking at the horse pictures of where they're like perfectly like removed. Cheekbones are yeah perfectly removed, or yeah, there's yeah, just yeah. that skin on that one side of their face is gone. Yeah, that's and I was like, Ugh. Um, <clears throat> aliens have was, a specific aliens have a specific type of skin they like to take from each different animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got trophies. You know what it is? On their spaceship, they just got a wall of skin flat faces <laughs> and some sort of fucking makeshift face rug. They're like Jeepers yeah, it, Creepers. No. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not the skull or bones or anything. They want just your face. Just a loose Leatherize it. They want to take wall. your face. Just like Dwight. Off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like Dwight with the baloney. They wear it for their Halloween. The bologna, no, with Halloween. the CPR doll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, here's my question. Do they? Do you think they got like fucking potato peelers, like their own type of face peeler, or do you think they do it by hand? Like, what do you what do you think is it a tool? I would say if 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 it's aliens doing the face peeling, they definitely have a, some sort of special tool. Oh my I, god, that cleans Hold it up real good. What if? What if for whatever reason, this guy's got a copy of Face Off, and this is what they do for costumes? They just peel people's faces off, and that's what they do yeah. for Halloween on their planet. Yeah. Yeah, I think it right, they just out. do it. In, they, they, right? they just have an, an an extraterrestrial fan Nicholas Cage fan club. Yeah, where they just fucking face off. They just peel faces. Yeah, it, man, they're gonna look back in twenty years when when they're fucking when there's all these pictures of all these aliens doing human face. They're gonna regret it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're gonna regret it big time. I tell you, warning right some... now. If we've learned anything, right? It's not funny anymore. You're gonna you're gonna lose some political pull. Right. If you got that on your on your social media, our well, species is not a costume. Them. Boot them. Hmm. Canceled before you even got here. Sucks um, to suck. But like, yeah, these villagers, like, there's, they're like begging for help. They're begging to be taken seriously. They're being terrorized for like a month. They're being peeled. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's like. Definitive proof that somebody got their face peeled by one of these things. Allegedly, <laughs> they're being peeled. They're being Allegedly. peeled. Man. I'm not even I sure if that to... video is directly related to this to this case. Like, I don't. And what are they called? What are somebody they called, called them the Pelicaris, which doesn't oh. exist. What does that translate, translate to? Translate directly to Peruvian face peeler. I know okay. people have. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna. We're just saying. Reason doesn't work here. I'm sorry. <laughs> sh- reason doesn't exist on the show. Yeah, um, I told you I've I've had enough sleep. I'm, the level of sleep is reserved for Dale Gribble here. I'm making connections, baby. Right? They're called the face peelers. There's a video of someone with a peeled face in the area. I'm going. Well, that's peelers. connected. 
Absolutely. Somebody said it's from that area. We don't even know if it's from there. It could be from Columbia. It could be some drug cartel shit. Listen, Dan, <laughs> was, it fact, was it fact checked on Facebook? Probably. <laughs> well, no, it's news. It's not on Facebook. I got an anymore. ear. And I was oh, listening. Yeah, if it's, not, if it's on Facebook, oh. it's on you. I was listening to the language that was spoken in the videos, and it sounded similar to me. In the sense sound... that I don't know that. Wait, well, wait, wait, like, wait. So wait, like, so what? Like what <laughs> yeah. So how many countries speak Spanish? Is it Spanish a, they speak? Just a couple, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they speak? I know. I thought Peru spoke something else. No. Portuguese Peru. or something. Do you think Peru spoke spoke, spoke uh, Peru? No, no. I thought they spoke like they po- Portuguese? Portuguese or something. Portuguese? Yeah, I thought it was Portuguese. No. 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 No, so speak in Portuguese. Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Well, some parts of Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Not all of them. Speak in Peru. Oh, yeah. He's Spanish, looking it up. Yeah. Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had, you had to ask the AI for well, let's confirmation. Let's say it all sounded the same. All right? All the videos, they sounded the same. It wasn't English. All right? Was that other language. I, could, I couldn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to be connected. It's got to be connected. I can't understand what they're saying. All right? So it's got to so be it could be It could be in China, bro. You know. Well, he knows. Oh, I know Chinese. I know Chinese. I can tell, I can tell the difference between Chinese and He hasn't Spanish. nailed down to not even continents, actually. He hasn't nailed no, down no, to nothing. No, con- no, continental. Because I'd be like, all right, that's an Asian language going on there. Right? That's a, all right. I'm getting a feel of South American vibe. Right? Yeah, so you, you, you've, you've narrowed it down just to continents. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, just con- continents. If you if you say a language, I can be like, I can pr- I guarantee you, I can guess the continent. Oh, it could be French. No, yeah, but if you're talking French with a South South American, it could be accent, Italian. They kind of sound I'll, similar. I'll, I'll I'll tell you. I'll be like maybe French, but it's definitely he's, he's South got America. a really good ear for continental dialect. For di- I, I, you know what it is? I just got an ear for the dialect. That's it. No languages or anything. I'm just like I can tell you. You tell me you sh- you show me a language, and I'll I'll be like approximate I'll area get, of the world. I'll from- guess the area. I've got like a one in six chance of getting it right. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. It's good odds. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the the villagers put out the call that uh, that these things, these events have been going on. They've been constantly harassed by these creatures or these uh, please, these apparitions. Please help! <laughs> please help. Um, and so Peru, uh, the local government, dispatched some troops, uh, some authorities out into the area to go take a look at what is have, what just has a these string of maybe edge. five or six mercenaries. What you're saying, Dan. <laughs> One of them um, just compulsively shaves the entire time. Yeah. One carrying one, a gun that's mainly yeah. mounted on a vehicle. One uh, that ain't got one time that's to a bleed. sexual Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and one with a very strong accent from the continent of Europe. <laughs> it only shakes hands by grabbing forearms. Yeah. The um so <sighs> They requested like full on military intervention, apparently, but the military well, is like, we, we can't really logistically, we can't bring anybody out there because the only way to get there is like a 10 hour river trip. And it's like, yeah. how are you going to bust People, everybody out there? And so I knew difficult. we're getting fucking peeled. I'd be calling for an airstrike. I'd be saying, we're in the fucking well, and basically, and basically, like, when you watch the interview, those, these people are like, "That's what they're, they're like. We're, we're under attack. Like they're they're claiming like the these green goblins are using like guerrilla warfare tactics on them, right? They're like, we're, we're this is a fucking battleground here. We need a we need the fucking military. But as you do, like if you were to say like say this stuff, it's like you're everyone's being like, mm, is it aliens really? So they're like, they're not really sending in the cavalry because they're like, yeah, we don't really believe it. Even if it's not aliens, what the fuck is it? Something it needs to be addressed, whatever's doing it. Yeah. You got Jack the Peeler hanging out in fucking the jungle or some shit. You got to figure it out. And what's happening is because the, the ET are, have realized that we're putting these, these, uh, you wait, these committees on national television and they're exposing the aliens. So they're just giving up being hidden and they're just going straight for the face and throat. That's what that, that was happening. <laughs> the like, we, get, rips. we don't need to stay hidden anymore. They're on to us. 
Um, so some authorities, local law authorities did make their way out there apparently. And they kind of toured the village and the surrounding areas. And then, um, they didn't seem to find any, or they haven't reported finding any evidence kind of backing up the idea that there are these uh, these. Well, they didn't find the evidence of silver armored green goblins, silver goblins I guess, um, coming out there to support the claims that the villagers were making. Um, well, they didn't but, see one. Let's just say that they didn't see. Yeah, it. they didn't. They didn't see. They any didn't see. Video. They didn't see any of what was described. So the explanation that is offered up by the Hold on. law I just enforcement. Want to add an aster- I want to add an asterisk to this. The explanation offered up mm. of what this is from the parties that went and didn't see it is this. So <laughs> the theory is that these were perhaps illegal gold mining operations that were going on and that the creatures were actually employees of one of these employee at like these illegal gold mining operations hmm. that kind of went out there. And basically it's a full on Scooby-Doo episode where they were trying to Just scare dressing away. Up. Uh, yeah. They're trying to yeah. scare away the locals from where they are mining uh, apparently by peeling um, their faces off. So what I learned is that Peru <laughs> is away. the Peru is the number one gold exporter of South America and 25% of that gold is illegally mined that it apparently is a pretty big issue in Peru uh like the types of things so when when we say like illegally mined apparently it's 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 mining operations that are either they're mining on land that isn't theirs um, or they're using illegal equipment and or methods to extract gold uh well, from the areas that they are so so basically what they're saying is that the, the like a mercenary group is uh, must be wearing some sort of costume flying in on jet packs uh, and terrorizing these villages to try to get them to leave. So then they can mine freely in the area without uh, under the watchful eyes of the village. Um, one of the issues I, I didn't even realize that one jet pack technology was that trusted at, right now. Like I, I've seen, you know, I've, I've seen, seen some pretty for, cool videos. But that's yeah, as far yeah, as I've but gone. Like, that you have a mercenary team, fucking in Green Goblin outfits, jetpacking into. I was just like, I was like, okay, well, that's a leap and bound. I think in jet jetpack technology, as far as I've seen. Uh, one one of the methods that they mentioned that is apparently has been utilized before by some of these operations is that they'll take like sheets or like clothes and they'll hang them on drones in them like two eyes and a mouth yeah. and run around yeah. and go boo yeah oh, es- essentially they'll they'll hang them from drones like they'll just hang them from drones and they'll fly the drones around to like that's, scare that's off amazing villagers. actually. Um, yeah. that's thing. fucking funny i mean that would i think we've seen the video you've seen the video it of the guys work. who like put the drone with the, like the little spooky ghost thing on it and like fly it around the park and stuff and like chase people Dude, it's, it's, especially scare the fucking in south shit america especially in south america uh, that's that's working so why especially um, in south america why, yeah well, i was gonna ask why well because i think they have more of a belief in the paranormal do they they might I think so i don't know dan you're um, you're you're our connection down there <laughs> out in, it, it is might that be because out he's those... a little bit further south than us so he's our connection um it's part it's partly that and par- partly his mom speaks spanish um you're closer to it you're closer than us what i'm saying you'd probably you probably wouldn't be totally wrong in thinking that and being that it's like out in some of these more rural you areas you do have a bit more, more superstition, superstition and, and yeah. kind of yeah. takes hold and, and kind of goes on um, but I, I mean, you could say some of that. Some of, you could say that about some towns out in the U.S. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like this is, but uh, yeah, it's it's something like that where you can have these these operations going on, and like they don't they don't necessarily want to get violent because I mean, if as long as you have people staying away, you don't. If that's easier than like making people go missing because then people come looking for missing people. But they also got violent having, real quick in a hurry. And it's not like the, the, what I thought was interesting. The, these are the issues that I have with this fucking this account of like their explanation is like one. I was thinking of like, OK, Scooby D style, you're going to run these people out of the town uh, that's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Where are these people going to go? They're not going to leave. They're not going to leave their homes. Right. So you're like, all right. So w- this ploy of like scaring them doesn't seem to work. So then you like they're immediately like they attack someone. They're attack attack some people. So then they're like, like, is that going to get them to flee? 
But the other problem I have is that all the people who describe these things, not one person describes being like, yeah, they were wearing a fucking jetpack. And it, and again, jetpack technology, as I know, you can hear it. You know what I mean? Like the jetpacks we've seen. The one you know, yeah. Some jetpack. Secondly, is that it's this isn't like a tribe where they're like, you know, have sticks and stuff. They they have guns <laughs> and they've been shooting, shooting these people. And they say they don't stay down. They get back up. So are these guys wearing, am I led to believe that these mercenaries are wearing some sort of fucking Iron Man suit that's bulletproof that can take rounds and they can just get up and then jetpack out of there where we, we never have a description of anyone from these villagers being like, yeah, they flew away on a fucking jetpack. They f- just no noise. There's none of that description, which I have trouble with. Cause I was like, if someone jetted in and then landed and then started blasting, like, yeah, there's the guy. Like these things are hiding in the fucking woods, right? Based on the descriptions of the villagers there. Like it, I, I just found it very interesting. I was like, and as far as I know, body, like, yeah, body, there's body armor and, and there's body armor that works, but like, you're taking Here's, rounds like it hurts. You're going to get here, dropped. You're going to get hurt. Do we know like any of the victims that have been peeled? Like, have they been like, oh, this is fucking Jose Ramirez and he's my neighbor. And this is, do we have well, any of that? Or has it just been like fucking random fucking, like I DBs said, the, that have the, been found? the Pelicaris portion doesn't necessarily seem to be related. That seems that might something that would have been added later to this whole narrative. I'm not sure because I can't, again, well, like I couldn't the, find anything well, and about again, that. The, it's been the expunged is, from the internet because of course, because like what I'm getting with, with that, with that is it's like, you know, like Dan said, they've dressed up drones to scare people. So what, how do we even know that these are actually fucking real mercenaries and they aren't just some type of fucking, you know, drones that are dressed up to look like something to scare people. And then they get their hands on, let's say a fucking cadaver of a random DB, peel it up, throw it in the woods and be like, look at look what we did. Run yeah. away. Be scared. Perhaps. All yeah, I know I, is yeah, I, I'm just, definitely using the drone for Halloween this year and just flying yeah. around my street with a yeah. f- <laughs> fucking demon hanging from it. Yeah. That I, being said, I a thousand percent am on board with silver suited extraterrestrial fucking norman osborne scary motherfuckers i'm on board with that I'm well because i'm like like, like think about I'm that description of like you have some green goblin super suit that's bulletproof i'm like what fucking what is the cia funding these rebel groups with nowadays what's well, fucking oscorp man. <laughs> we've seen it it works that's the Norman Osborn, uh, when he wears a suit in the movies, he was bulletproof. Well, like that was and the, the other the other issue I have with that again, it's the people, it's the it's the groups coming in, you know, the uh the military the the representation, the representative who came in being like, Yeah, this is probably what it is. Yeah, it's probably this. And this is all it was. And I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't really match the description. It's like I'm like, if you're wearing body armor and you're getting shot. You don't just you don't just go like ha ha, I got body armor on. like you it hurts you're hurt yeah but they right? do get knocked down and then they get back up it's not like they're but fucking they disappear and walking through it right because yeah, they they're running away because they're hurt they're like fuck that hurt yeah, if he you winged him go. like but you know if he winged him like you don't know if he shot him directly you think that the description blank. would then be I shot them they drop they get up they run away it's how fast we don't know how they fast drop are. they rise they. And they disappear. They turn the on their active is, camo and they run away. Well, I'd say if the you hit is the gliding, right? They say they're gl- like a lot of descriptions of them gliding. And I'm like, okay, well again, but there's no noise. There's no, no, like there's no description of like, yeah, these things are loud. We can hear them coming. It's like, what the fuck does that? We, what, like what possibly would do that with a person? One of those like drone, like gliders, like that you could stand on. Like, I'm just trying to goblin, think what this could be other than the descriptions glider. given. Yeah, like a lot, a lot of this stuff's like kind of put together. Like we do have the report from Hairo, Hairo, um, Hairo, Hairo. Um, Hairo, that, like, I mean, he's definitely one hundred percent that these things are aliens uh, and saying that. And then, but like a lot of the, a lot of the details and stuff are kind of a mishmash of like reports that have come up. So the jetpack thing might not necessarily be directly related to his sighting, but people have like seen 
something flying around and that's kind of one of the again yeah like you mentioned that is one of the explanations they offer up is that some of these these areas like we said like getting to this village is not easy you have to get up you have to have to take a fucking 10 hour boat ride up the river to get to this village and then getting up to these areas where you would mine the gold it they're entirely inaccessible but now we have technology that allows people to do that and like you know you can survey those areas using the the jetpack things which i guess you know these these gold Again, miners i mean if you're gold mining like I'm you have access away. to so it's that's I'm, a lot I'm of money that you have access to a lot technology. of stuff yeah. i'm blown away we must be 10 years in in like in private corporations we must be 10 years ahead in in jetpack technology well we've seen i mean we've seen seen the we've seen like the medical like they have those like search and rescue teams that have the jetpacks now and they use them to fly into areas like we 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 have those when have you not seen those videos they have like they have like they have like hand propulsion too to like steady themselves they're like iron man i've seen that i've seen seen that that. that. but they don't look they don't look like something you'd be like i can use this every day it looks like though if you use it long enough you will die well, that's what I'm saying is like they well, you, see that's like they see these true. things that like not necessarily related to the direct sighting. Like the, these things weren't wearing the jetpacks like they like that they saw. Um, again, those could be the drone things that if they're carrying something and then you shot it, maybe it like it pulls the drone down. Like I don't know if you hit it, like pulls the drone down, and zips off. Like um, again, and flying a drone, fly, but yeah, but I can see reasoning flying a drone through the jungle would not necessarily be like the easiest thing. So it'd be no. like, that'd be kind of hard. So, <laughs> so it well, is I've little, seen them fly those drones in those mm. obstacle courses and they're fucking amazing. Yeah. But not with a ghost sheet hanging. No, yeah. sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah, you're not wearing a ghost seat. sheet. You're wearing fucking state of the art armor. Yeah. It's like the thing is the thing with this, this case and, and these events right now that's, Blog of my mind is like even the official story offered up right now. I'm like, none of the stories really add up to me. I go, okay, why that's plausible because you make that story grounded in like earth and events that are happening in Peru. But where it gets unbelievable for me is I'm like, what fucking kind of armor? Like, if this this armor is a fucking bulletproof armor, you think you would see the US Marines in this shit overseas. Like we maybe you this see- is what maybe they're testing it there. Right, the they're like you know the CIA is like let's give them the, let's give them the armor and maybe they can get some gold for us. Well, it's no, maybe it's the military there that's protecting it. Right, they got some interest on there. We're gonna mm. test pilot, and see how it goes. Mm. Maybe they're like, and what are you gonna use it for? It's got a nasty side effect. Whoever village. uses these jetpacks gets peeled. Yeah, so they got yeah they get peeled <laughs> because of the fucking jet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why can't the they just, just be propulsion. ETs? Why can't they just be actual fucking ETs? Well, I'm on board with that. All right. Yeah. Well, here's the interesting thing: we, we talk about Peru being such a hotbed for gold right and like gold is obviously a commodity in the alien world where that we say that they might be interested in right maybe we mined it for them in the past so like maybe these things are extraterrestrials and it's just them that maybe they are mining gold there maybe we our planet just has a higher concentration than most and we they found us useful didn't we find like that gold meteor right though yeah like out there yeah uh, oh, mining so gold, mining gold, gold yeah. would be way easier to go get it from a meteor on, than to come on, here on asteroids. Yeah, but you know, yeah, but I listen, mean, there's nothing to fuck on an <clears throat> asteroid, Dan, and there's nothing to peel. <laughs> How do you know? You've been to an asteroid? I've seen, I've seen NASA. Have you been to an what? asteroid, sir? Have you been there? <laughs> were you, you there? Were you there? No, I were you there. there? You got me there. You got me there. You got not me yet. on the. Were you there? So I, I can't <laughs> argue with that logic. I was not there. I don't. We're not there, and therefore you cannot say nothing. Maybe the asteroid does have holes. Hey, those asteroids some might be like the truck fit. stops. You know, they got some. Rick Sanchez fucked a whole planet, <laughs> so you're all right. <laughs> yeah, well, did, have you ever seen an asteroid? They're all. It's all glory holes, man. The whole thing. Yeah. Totally anonymous. It's cheesed. Yeah. <laughs> Every look. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, the gold thing. Yeah, there's so there's gold. Like, there's just is way more abundant in the other places. Just cranks off anything that comes in. <laughs> um. Yeah. If we go back, like the the whole the whole alien and gold connection has been kind of around for a long time i mean zechariah sitchin in his whole earth chronicle series you know talking about the 12th planet uh you know and anunnaki from nibiru like their atmosphere got compromised somehow and so that they needed to mine gold in order to put it back into their atmosphere and i guess reflect cosmic the atmosphere or something. yeah the atmosphere yeah. was supposed to help them reflect the dangerous radiation or something that was scorching yeah. the planet or something yeah shit. that was their idea so they had to come to earth and therefore create us to work for them because they're lazy it was it was cheaper 
and more cost effective for them to make and wait for a whole race to evolve uh, to then mine they're, gold. They're, yeah, they're in no hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess um, I guess not. If you're if you're if you're being outside of this dimension of experiencing lean, linear time, you're like, what does it matter? Just do this, and then you come back. I never even true. thought about that. I'm like, you're just like, oh yeah, do this, and it's like, you know, it's like it's like being offline. We're like, it's like playing Clash of Clans, right? You're not playing it right now, but all your base is still doing shit, right? You might be under attack right now. You don't know, right? You won't know till you pop back in. Um, they're gonna be pissed when we come back and they find out none of us are all not all of us are mining gold all the time <laughs> like, fucking what are you tricks. doing yeah do you know there's only like 20 percent of that population mining gold right now the rest of them are doing fucking little dances they're doing TikToks. on the phone what the fuck right? what the fuck is going on here we left you guys for only 300 years <laughs> uh yeah and like peru itself like I like it having the place of, you know, number one gold producer in South America is always kind of nuts because it's like Peru has always been one of those countries that's kind of like its whole entire cultural identity for a while was surrounded by gold. Like when the conquistadors show up, it was like the entire, you know, this was the golden city. This was El Dorado. These places, like everything was coated in gold. They just had it everywhere, um, you know, and this and, and the like their entire mythos like their cultural creation mythos um they mentioned the the god viracocha uh who's often depicted as a bearded man and he's like a creator god from the andean mythologies and he's said to have come from lake titicaca and then kind of taught the peruvian nice. people like about the you know different engineering stuff farming essential skills um and then also creating other deities uh you know in his image and then you know, some people in the ancient astronaut theory is kind of like that these, this is perhaps some type of extraterrestrial visitor that was coming around and disseminating, you know, knowledge amongst humans and teaching us as, you know, as, there are plenty of other stories and, you know, Latin America and South America and then, you know, all over the world where you have these beings that descend from the sky in golden discs or, you know, no. clouds or stuff Do like you- that. And they bring knowledge advanced knowledge to the people who are just i know basically Where's, like building dirt castles i guess before so this <laughs> peru peru you said exports 25 percent of the world's gold no 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 no. i said it is 25 well, percent of their gold is 20 gold. well 28 percent actually 28 percent of their gold that is mined in peru is estimated to be illegally mined Illegal. they are the number one gold they're um, number one exporter of gold in south america well here my my question, my kind of interest in this is like, cause Peru, they, you know, obviously mine lots of gold. Uh, they're up there. Um, I was kind of interested in like, if you looked at the biggest gold producers uh, on the planet, um, is, is there like a correlation between like gold in your area and UFO activity? Uh, that's a good question. Right. So I'm just looking and it's like, uh, right now, the biggest gold miners are like China, Russia, Australia, Canada, U.S., Ghana, and then Peru. Hmm. Right, and, and but then I was like, I was like, hey, well, you know, Russia and Canada, you know, I think are on there. That's not a really fair statement because it was like, where, how much of Canada produces that much? Because maybe it's such a might be a real small area in Canada that yeah, produces it's BC all and the, the gold. Yukon. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So it's like it's not; it's just a huge landmass. I've seen, yeah, I've seen some of those Yukon Gold uh, docu series or whatever, yeah. and it's like they don't see any UFOs. I think those would be in there if they had UFOs. I was just <laughs> in be the way Yukon. more interesting to watch. I was just in white, just outside of Whitehorse this last week visiting friends, and the whole state or the whole it's province of in gold. No, the whole province of the Yukon is just propped up by the money that's made by mining, or the city wouldn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> The city like pays people to move there, pays yeah. people to keep them there. We'll put you up in housing and shit to just get like doctors and nurses and medical staff and professional services because no one's up there, but they need to support this community of mining. Okay, you know what's funny though about Whitehorse? Beautiful, beautiful spot in the summer. Really nice. I could definitely like I've been up there. And I'm like, you know what? Really nice area. The weather's nice, but only right now. <laughs> and you got, th- only for you a got three months. Weeks. 
You got three months. All right, and then it's yeah, just but that's the same hellscape. as Alberta too. Yeah, yes. frozen hellscape. Um, but back on the UFO talk, it's 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 just it's interesting to me. I'm like, it's tough. It's just it's a wild story. What's going on in Peru to, to, for it to come out the way it is? Um, is it a correlation between gold mining and stuff? It just I don't. I don't know I if so. I've, I've seen Cowboys and Aliens. I, I don't it. know if I believe any of the accounts really. It's a documentary, right? Like I, so. I, we all like listen. We all know firsthand accounts, eyewitness accounts, terrible, trash, garbage, so wildly unreliable. Uh, but sometimes the best you got. Yeah, sometimes the best you got. But like the fact that someone comes in and is like, "It's this. It's these fucking mercenaries on jetpacks." I'm like, that is honestly. As unbelievable in the other direction for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't believe that for a second that you have mercenaries <clears throat> dropping in, getting shot, being fine. I'm like, what's the end game there? What's the end game? You think, why not just wipe out this village? Well, what is the end game then? If it's if it's not that, if it's not all this stuff and it's a hoax, like, what's well, you the don't want to wipe out the village because people, that's like, that village is like 1,300 people. <laughs> that's not a lot that's of people. Not, that's nothing. That you can't just make thirteen hundred people disappear. You know how exhausting it would be to fucking peel. You'd have to kill. Some, that's a lot of people. They have a highly <laughs> advanced laser skin removal hey, system. I'm sure. I'm sure that's mercenary groups have have killed off villages with more people uh, in the way of resources in the world than thirteen hundred. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, not yeah, in South right. America or Peru has a relatively stable government. Not not so much. Well, you know, it could be, it could be, well, this could be actually, you know what, this could be real. Um, You know, Peru's having a real extraterrestrial problem right now because it's, uh, they close, that's why they closed down uh, Machu Picchu, right? And they closed down. That's right. They made it seem like it was a strike, but really. And they made it seem like a political turmoil, but. Yeah, no, no. Extraterrestrial turmoil is more like it. The best kind of turmoil. That's why they shut it down. Is there anything better than extraterrestrial turmoil? They showed up and the stuff's getting real heat heated over it's, there. It's just, it's just the the thing that's wild to me is I'm like, the descriptions of these things by the people that live there are alien, very alien. And then they're when they're given, it's like I'm led to believe that it's either aliens on one end of the scale, or it's mercenaries with technology that we've never seen before, right? That is bulletproof fucking green goblin armor. That was uh, out, for quietly, they, out for a train. Out for a train. Don't they have a massive fucking gang problem shit down there though? Like I remember, like didn't didn't the, it wasn't Peru, but it was like right near like Ecuador or something like that, where the fucking where there the guy just got assassinated by one of the because he came out against all the gangs. In his, oh yeah, like, the corruption platform. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, like isn't it fucking like a place just rifled with fucking gang and corruption? I don't I know how stable so. these governments are. I don't. I don't think so. I think they're I not think saying. They're all... Hey, I'm Canadian. Our government's not very stable. Not very stable no, at the moment either. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. They're listen. They're all. They're all CIA propped up down there. All right. That's fair. Yeah. Still you're not working with the CIA. And you're drugs. against. You're against the CIA down there. So, but it, it's just it. It's wild. Like wild for, to see that trending after all these. Uh, you know, we've been talking about the the congressional hearings and UFOs, and then you have like an entire village being like, "Help us, Get, please!" <laughs> um, I did see, like, you, you know, later in the day today, I did see on X the one of the face peeler video, the one of the face peel videos, the one I talked about was saying uh, they said there was a little fact check thing, and it said this video is not uh, in direct link with this event, and I went. Yeah, but what's that in direct link with? I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. <laughs> it's in the area. Like, it's in Peru, but it's not with that specific event. And I was I like... know it's in Peru. Because it said so on the fact check thing. That the thing that that event took place in Peru? That... It was in Peru, but it wasn't linked to this event. I'm like, well... Bullshit. It should be. <laughs> because that's <laughs> the crazy shit i ever seen. Mm. I didn't know that you could do that to a person. It was terrifying. Hashtag fucking trigger warning. Don't look that shit up. If you're anything like me, you hate that stuff. Don't don't look at that. It. It's terrible. I hate looking at that stuff. But um but he does. 
It'll be interesting for, to see. For the good That's of the my pond. perfect perfect date. I sit down there and go, hey, you want to watch uh, some gore videos? <laughs> Murder porn? Murder, you Face watch of some death. Fucking, yeah, yeah. Oh. My brother, Mr. Conspiracy, you fucking used to love watching that. He used to send me stuff. I'd be like, oh, don't, why, don't send me that. It gives me nightmares, man. I hate that stuff. Yeah, I don't um, know. who wants to watch that shit? Well, a conspiracy that makes. But sense. anyways, it's it's interesting. We'll we'll keep up to it uh, as things progress. Uh, right now, we're led to believe aliens or you know mercenaries. One or the other, uh, aliens or uh, cowboy, gold cowboys. Could be it could be cowboy commander. Well, that Ooh. makes more. I would Ooh, make more. Let's sense get into this. Well, why is why is cobra commander peeling people? Why is cobra why not? peeling? Think, Cobra we, Commander's not peeling anybody. Cobra Commander needs the, the Cobra needs gold to fund their. I understand that, but do you think you think efforts. fucking you think Cobra Commander is going to peel anyone? He's What's Zorba, fucking, Zorban's going to fucking peel some faces? Yeah, you think? Well, yeah, how do you yeah, think listen. he fucking makes his disguises? Yeah, see, what I Andrew's get, saying is Cobra Commander's Zorban. not doing whatever. What the, 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 the face stuff. changer guy? Whatever his name. He's not doing the hands on stuff. It's not Zorban. What's his name? I forgot. It's like Zardon, not Zardon. What's his? It's got some. He's got some weird name. What are they called again? They're like the Marauders or something. Oh god, that's gonna bug me. This is the Merc Merc group, mercenary group. But anyways, um, I did have a theory of the week. Zartan. Zartan, yeah, that's right. Zartan. Zartan. Uh, theory of the week this week. Oh, did you? Um, so did I. Did you do two? Do I do a twofer? Okay, yeah. we'll do two for who's your, you. You get which one? No, you go first. All right. Uh, this one humor, yeah. easy one again. Easy yeah. to get it. You go on to Apple iTunes, uh, you know, wherever you can leave a pod, wherever you can leave a written review for the podcast, and you leave us a written review. You write a nice little heartfelt uh, review. Chances are we see it, we Absolutely. read it, because obviously we're all narcissists. We love reading good things <laughs> about it, about the pod. Some more so, than others, right? Some so, more than others. Let's be honest here. Well, I don't read any of the bad. You read the you read the bad. I I ignore the bad. Like the other uh, guy, all mine are bad. <laughs> no, no. Someone the other day was saying that uh, how annoying I was on the pod, and I was like, "I've done like two hundred, you fucking douche." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you listen to the pod. You've listened to two hundred uh, me, and, and now you're gonna you're at two hundred and eighty nine. You're gonna be like, you know what? That mm. Braden guy. I'm like, I've literally took, been on. Took every a pod. while for me to make up my mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. It's like four hundred uh, hours of listening to him talk. I didn't sleep a wink when I read that. I cried all night. Mm. Uh, but this guy, be like this guy, Jeff, our buddy Jeff from London, hey, uh, Jeff. UK. Uh, he said, he gave us a five star review and he said, I'll write a poem for this podcast. Uh, your boys from ATT, trust me, they're no mugs. Bring in UFOs and scary ghosts and photographs of bugs. Uh, dropping news from up above straight into your lap. It's often really bang on point, but sometimes shady crap. Endlessly <laughs> they search for stories near and far with tales of the night sky and pickled babies in a jar. They'll make you laugh and spit your beer with banter and good humor. There's even talk that one's a vampire, but that's a bloody rumor. Uh, I'll end this with a warning now. They can go off on rants, but trust me when I say you'll laugh so hard, you'll mess your pants. Best wishes and thanks from Jeff from London. Jeff, you are the theorite of the week. That was great. Uh, oh, beauty. Thank you for that review. Nice. And easy. You know, you can review it. You can, you, you that wasn't easy, though. That took talent. That, that was, was good. good. Put that some was thought good. in. That was good. That wiped out. I'm not even going to say mine now. Yeah. Save it for yeah, next week. We'll pretend like it wasn't yeah, the one. Just vetoed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, vetoed both good. of them. <clears throat> Uh, and listen, if you if you support the show, you like what we do. You listening to the podcast, right? And uh, you're like, you know what? I like these guys. I like what they do, and I we do it for free. There's ways you can support us. You can go to our uh, alientheorist.com. Go buy yourself some merch. Help the show out that way. Get yourself some cool swag. Or if you like what we do and you want to support the show on Patreon uh, or Supercast. You know, you can donate to the show, helps keep the lights on. And in return, uh, we have hundreds of hours of bonus content, D&D and stuff. Uh, the last D&D we did is getting some pretty good reviews. We were level 10, uh, absolutely gooned. I listened to a little bit of it and I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> really? holy, we were good. We were gooned. But, How uh, does we're in time. the same room? Uh, so so if, you, if you like this, 
and you want to support us, there's ways to do it and get yourself some cool stuff. So uh, help support the show. And uh, Zell like Zell's going to tell you about some beauties that uh, are already doing that. Boom! This week's new supporters we got Dead Owl eighty nine, Conspiracy Outpost podcast. Oh, that's fucking getting some free uh, free plug in there. There you go. Yeah. Mush Life. Brick. I'm pretty sure that's Brick, uh, the character from, uh, isn't that Borderlands? Pretty sure that's no, him. Anchorman. Brick Anchorman. Tamlin. Brick, Brick yeah. Tamlin. No, or him. Ben Kerr. Mike Philpot. I deleted this person's name. $3 pledged by someone. I deleted their name. I'm, I'll make sure to get you on the next one. <laughs> See, make sure. what, what Zell's saying is if you pledge anything under uh, the $3 range is where he, he thinks of you as a lesser person. You get deleted. He's like, what? You couldn't afford two extra dollars to get all the bonus content? Well, we can't afford to say your name on the pod. Ah. Um, well, when, so, I, when I check next week, if you're between Mike Philpot and the last supporter of the week, Keenan... And Zed, I'm gonna make sure to get you in there next week. Yeah, listen, just, you got a week. You got a week. Your name. You got a week to up your pledge or something. Reading your name. <laughs> get your shit together. Uh, hey, thanks for supporting the show. I mean, this it's majority crowdfunded, uh, so we appreciate all you guys. Um, we know the last six months have probably been a little bit up and down with uh, bonus material. We've all had babies, um, so things are slowly. Dan got a, Dan got a Gundam. Tango to Gundam. Things are things are slowly kind of getting back into a little bit better of a routine. So hopefully by the fall we'll be um back really motoring uh with bonus content and stuff. But hey, thank you for all your continued support, especially in these troubling times when things are tough out there. Uh we get it. And if you aren't because you it is tough, hey man, it's all good. Uh we just love doing it. Thanks for listening. And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those fucking eyes on those skies you rap bastards I am so fucking tired, man. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Enough. We already heard it. Stop You've already started. Whining. You, for some reason, started the show with that. <laughs> how, no. wait, how long has it been since you worked? You know what? You know what? Everyone listening right now. for three hours, worked 12 hours, got home, ate a fucking snack, and came down here to sweat my bag off with you fuckers. Yeah, I don't well, want to hear it anymore. Get yourself Enough. Then, buddy. What you, what Welcome you to the podcast. Friend? Let me tell you about how tired I am before we start. Yeah. I guess. Now, well, hey, the people want to know. <laughs> how yeah. tired you are yeah people want to know everybody I gotta ask you Brayden give us an update on how tired you are well, okay what's your, what's your right. tired in the schedule all right, all right. All right. All right everyone fucking calm down I'll let you know uh, how my sleep's going all bad right.